Oh yeah! Welcome! Have a long, narrow box to open today. And for me, this represents kind of a bargain. This is an item that is admittedly something of an impulse purchase, but relating to a line that I've really been enjoying collecting lately. Um, something a little bit different, but you'll see as I get it open. Some of the prices that I saw on eBay for this were just ridiculous, like almost getting up into triple figures. And even I found it on a fairly well-known UK website, and it was quite a high price. I think it was like 60 or something. Whereas I got this for £9.90, and then £3.10 postage. Makes, of course, £13 all in. And that was the best offer on eBay. I can't wait to see this in the flesh. Therefore, this is what I need. This is what you want, possibly. It's my trusty yellow knife. Good morning, miss. Can I help you, son? 16 today, and out for fun. Yada yada, blah 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 blah. If you surf, I'll be on my way. Welcome to the house of fun. Now I've come of age. Welcome to the lion's den. Temptations on its way. Welcome to the house of fun. Alright! Don't tell anyone, I forgot some. And now, let us have a sizzle! Woo! So as I say, I made a best offer on eBay. First time, it was accepted. It wasn't listed at that much more, I think, including postage, a bit over £15. So I got a couple of quid off, but considering when I was looking at all the listings of this on eBay, and I found it on a UK Funko website as well, I thought, you know what, I think I've got a bargain here, even though... It isn't valued at a lot on the Funko app, and I'll put the glam shot with the valuation up later on. Protective packaging-wise, this doesn't look overly brilliant. Sort of sandwiched in between a little bit of newspaper. I think we're all right. Oh, that is brilliant. I love that. Okay, what I've got here is... It's a fantastic plastic three-pack daubs. Wow, yes. And it is Emerald City Comic Con 2017 Limited Edition, limited to 2,000 pieces. Now, automatically, when it's like a limited piece thing, I automatically assume the value's going to skyrocket. And it's not always the case. Like, I've got, if I can just get it down, I've got a limited 5,000 piece 11 daubs there. A Hot Topic exclusive, and I don't think the value of that's ever gone particularly high. I mean, I know 5,000 is not a tiny number, but it's not massive either. And same with this, even though there is some sellers trying to charge the earth for this. And yes, 2,000 pieces, it is quite a limited, limited edition. Its current valuation is pretty low, like 12 or something like that. On the Funko app, at least. But um, the three characters we've got here are Carlos, Dino, and Guapo. I've not got any of these in pop form. I would love to get them. I think in pop form, these are all quite uh, difficult to get for a good price now. But I do keep looking. But uh, it's been a while since I've bought any daubs. And uh, when I saw this, and I saw I was able to make an offer on it and get it for under £10, I thought, yes, had to have it. I think this is fantastic. I do like the Daubs packaging. Daubs seem to be getting a little more love in the community lately. Um, I know Leroy Screwballs, he's been buying a few more Daubs recently, he likes them. They're still quite Marmite, I know there's still a lot of people who don't like them at all. But um, there's little sort of fun little figures, fun little collectibles. I think they're great, and especially when you can pick them up pretty cheap, as you can for a lot of them now. Some of them are going for quite cheap prices, and uh, while this one, I think I got a bit lucky with that particular listing, it still represents the fact that these are generally quite inexpensive now. We've got the usual circular windowed box there, you can see the back, and the front is kind of identical, but with a bit more writing and bump on it. Really excited to have got something that's limited so few pieces here, and a 2017 piece as well, so it's not exactly brand new either. Have a look at the top. There's 
a lot of boring shit on the bottom, as they say in uh, the Cardiff area. Yep, very happy. Just look at the sides there as well. I think they're pretty much identical, apart from a little bit of writing. I've never got daubs out of the box. For me, they're a nice in-box item, because the box is part of the appeal. Whereas a lot of pop boxes seem kind of uniform. Normally with daubs and with vinyl two-packs as well, the boxes are always different and different colours and different designs, which I think is always a plus, really. I've also got a three-pack daubs protector from ATV. I ordered that as soon as I'd ordered this. That came a couple of days ago, so I've got that ready to go. So that's fantastic. This can go in that and into my daubs collection, my daubs display straight away. So thank you to the eBay seller. For accepting my offer and of course thank you to all of you for watching this video special thanks go as always to my amazing subscribers and patrons please see the referral links down in my description text box for my usual recommended Funko figure and protector suppliers and of course my patreon link is at the top of the video description like it always is Please come back to this channel this time tomorrow because I will be kicking off my latest Funko Worldwide giveaway and it's one you are not going to want to miss, I promise you. I'm going to go now and as previously stated, stick Carlos, Dino and Guapo, three original characters, into an ATV Dorbs protector and I do hope that you will join me and these three little fellas next time for my next Funko Dorbs unboxing. Cheers everyone. See ya!